All right, everybody, we are back on Elm Creek, the six million dollar farm. Hello, little crow. Um, we've bought one piece of equipment. We've bought the Western Star. We got it for about 50 grand. And now it's time to start buying some farm equipment. So let's take a look here and see what we need. If we go to the sales, I'm sure there's not going to be anything we want. Not really. So, first things first, we're going to need an auger wagon for hauling crops. Um, I'm trying to remember, I think it was a Dimco that didn't work. So we'll get the Elmer's Hallmaster. We're going to go with a John Deere Green. We're going to give it a nice top. So it'll hold 70 I don't even know how to say that one. 70 meters cubed. Or is cubed four? I don't remember. Math's hard. Anyway, let's check out our tractors here. So we know we're going to need a harvester. I think we just go ahead and go with the X9. And we've got the money still. So... Yeah, let's just do the X9. Okay, we don't want the EU set up, we want the US set up. Uh, yes, we want GPS. And there's that. So we got a harvester. Now we just gotta get headers for it. So let's do combinations. We can get 13.7 or 15.2 and then a 12 meter corn header. So both of these are going to need a trailer to be able to haul them back. We'll buy them both. And then I need to see the combinations of those headers so I can see what we need. So we're going to need that trailer. And then i got to find corn headers. Check the corn headers. Oh, shit. Combinations. Oh, there is no trailer. That one probably folds up. So, we've got a harvester. Now we just need some tractors. We're going to do some large tractors for pulling our grain cart. I kind of want the uh, 9RX. Um, the 9R, where's that? Right here. We'll probably get it for like all our cultivating and plowing needs but we're already burning through some money here so let's see if we can't just cheapen it down a little bit we can get the 8R which has 458 horsepower 458 that'll go up to 670 so I think we're just going to start off with an 8R with BKT tires on it, uh, US design, um, biggest engine we can get, so it's got 458 horsepower, we want GPS on it, and I think we're just going to leave it like that. For now, we can always, you know, add the duels or whatever we need to do, and then I think I want a 7R because we, we do have grass and stuff that we're going to have to haul and bale stuff like that so we're just going to go ahead and get that one um, we're going to need a trailer for the semi to haul crops back and forth I kind of want the don't want the triple hopper. The triple hopper to me is useless. Let's just go with the pace setter. It's a dual hopper. And that's a little more useful to me, I think. We'll just leave it like it is. Or we can change it to black. Let's change it to black. It'll match the truck better. Okay, so that's that. We're going to need a cedar of some sort. We do 
I really want to get into more like corn and stuff, so we're going to want to be able to plant corn. So let's check out planters. 234,000 for the John Deere 1775. And it'll plant corn, sunflower, soybeans. So I think we'll get us one of those. It takes liquid fertilizer though, so we're going to have to get a liquid fertilizer tank. Um, or just not fertilize as we plant. Both of those are 42 meters. This one holds more, so we'll get us a fertilizer spreader. And then we're going to want like a uh, weeder set up. Because we are going to have weeds at some point. That one's 12 meters. That one's 15.2 meters. So just go ahead and grab that one. We're going to have to buy a stone picker to pick stones. So we need to find stone pickers. Let's see, where is the stone pickers? There's the roller stone pickers. There we go. Buy the biggest one they got. Okay, we'll buy that. Alright, so what we're going to do is I'll head up there and start hauling all that crap down. We just spent $2 million on vehicles. So first thing I'm going to do is take this up, get the uh, tipper trailer. We'll get it parked, but we'll come back when we have everything parked for you guys. Alright everybody, we are back and we've got everything parked at the shop here. These are silos for seed, fertilizer, chicken food. Um course you've seen all the buildings before but I got the semi and the trailer there we got the John Deere cedar there this is our fertilizer spreader and a wheel weight in this shed we've got the two tractors the 8R and the 7R got our weeder our stone picker and then if we come over I didn't know this was a yeah it's a maintenance bay that's sweet I didn't know that was there if we come into this shed got our auger wagon our header our combine and of course we'll probably fill this up with more stuff eventually here's our corn header uh, we'll get it filled up eventually but I do want to get some gameplay in for you guys this is already the second episode so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with some fertilizing so let's open this bay back up see if we can put some narrow tires on this 7R if we can't, it's no big deal because we're just fertilizing the grass to start off with. But it's worth a shot. If we can get narrow wheels on it, it would be a benefit. Less, less impact on the crop itself because I think we're going to have to fertilize our soybeans as well. Let's see, can I see it? Open workshop customize oh. narrow twin wheels there we go so let's go ahead and throw them on real quick one thing that's really nice is once you buy them you don't have to pay for it anymore you just come back in here and put them on so we're gonna throw the wheel weight on front sorry about how loud that is we're gonna throw the wheel weight or the no, wheel weight the 1.8 ton weight on the front I mean the fertilizer is not going to be that heavy, but I just like having it on there for balancing issues and for better traction. Never know what we're going to get to out there in the field, so I'm going to hook up to this bad boy and start fertilizing the grass. I'll show you how my fertilizer silos work. And if you have any suggestions on equipment that we're going to need, that you think we're going to need on the farm. Drop them in the comments below. Also, leave us a like if you're enjoying it. I had... Okay, yeah. So, let's see. Because I know there's stuff I'm missing. We're going to need cultivator. Um, different stuff like that. To be able to, you know, cultivate these crops. Uh, we do have plowing turned off. And the John Deere cedar is a direct, a direct drill. But... I think we're going to need 
a cultivator just because it's more realistic okay we got that closed up let's go out here and see if we can't start fertilizing oh yeah this is gonna be a good hay field um, we're not gonna get into doing silage just yet um, we will eventually um, main thing is is we are going through our money quite a bit and I do potentially want to buy more fields so I'm kinda trying to save our money and not blow it all we do have a soybean harvest coming up we still have to buy all the hay equipment we're gonna need which we might actually do sometime in this episode if we can get through fast enough with fertilizing so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hop into a little bit of a time lapse here and we'll get these two fields fertilized. <laughs> We got both of those fields fertilized we're gonna go park this shit back and then we're gonna go ahead and buy some of our chickens get that started um, we do have a field that's ready to harvest field 69 over there is ready to go so we can get that all done and be good to go so let's drop this off go ahead and drop the front weight up here right about there we gotta drop that back up I like this little overcropping of the roof because it gives me a place to put stuff out of the weather still I don't know what the weather's gonna be like this winter but hopefully it's not too bad but let's get us some chickens 
going to drop this right about. Let's go ahead and lower it. And drop it there. Okay. We'll just drive this over there. I don't know what we have that'll hold the... Oh, the auger wagon will hold it because it's just wheat. Chicken food is just wheat. So we have a whole silo full of wheat that we purchased, which kind of dumb, I guess. Could have held off on that. All right, so what's the difference? Why is this one $5 and this one's $50? Oh, because this is a chick. We'll just get chicks. Let's select that one, and we want, what is this? This will hold 30, so we want about 25 chicks, and then we want five, we're going to get five roosters. Yep, five roosters. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our auger wagon see if we can't feed these chickens they don't look very chickish I wish that was the thing that they would fix in their games is like because now they have it where you have like you can buy full-grown or you can buy younger animals which is cool I think that's awesome but also at the same time it's like well when I buy a chick or a younger cow I want it to look younger we need to go ahead and move this harvester out we're gonna be harvesting oats I think it's oats whatever's in that crop over there the next episode so we're gonna go ahead and get this guy moved out I don't understand why everything's so loud all of a sudden get this guy moved we'll just park him here in the entrance hopefully out of the way let's just pull across and go right up next to the soybean field here this trailer not the greatest I'm finding all right let's just go over to our tractor here we'll head right on in here back up to this thing I mean, I'm not going to fill it full of wheat, so it shouldn't be too much weight to pull with this tractor. It should work out just fine. But we'll get us some wheat for our chickens, and we'll probably call it there. So if you guys liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. It helps us out a bunch. And I hope you guys are enjoying the new farm. It really sucks that we lost our old one, but with the bugs that came with a new update I guess it's just something that's gonna happen um, the save game's gone it's not coming back so we're moving on we're on to our rich person farm just gonna put about that much in there towards the pipe pipe comes out the perfect direction so we can just pull right on up here and dump some food into our chickens Maybe. Am I too close, maybe? Maybe I need to pull up to the side a little bit. I mean, of course, this isn't the proper way to be doing this. But it works. Yeah. So, we're good to go there. Hopefully we can dump this back into the silo because, I mean, technically, let's just fill this whole thing up and dump it into our other silo and then we can get rid of this thing. We're going to have plenty of food for those chickens for a while, so just go ahead and fill this thing all the way up. Hopefully it'll take everything in that silo and then we can use, we'll just dump it in our big silo, our crop silo actually. I wasn't I thought the chicken food was gonna be something different so that's why I bought the chicken food silo so I could pay to have somebody deliver the stuff to us but uh, we didn't really need it 
so we're gonna go ahead and get this done and we'll probably call it there we'll see you guys in the next one peace